are painting games today, and wow. today we are going to paint the Lich King and his friends. Oh, that sounds Lich nice. Lich King and friends. That's Lich right. King and friends. Um, so yeah, so we're going to talk about some stuff. So first, we have already um, primed these guys with our two-tone priming method, which means that it's black, and we put some gray dry brush and some white dry brush, and you should end up with something like so. And uh, we did this to all of the figures. However, what I do is an extra step for these hero type figures, like here's good old Thrall, um, as I put some Wraithbone primer on the skin tones, wherever I want it to be super light, we're going to uh, actually put a, a straight primer so the black doesn't show through. And we'll talk about why we do that when we get to painting these guys. But basically we've got on the Horde side, good old Thrall, and then there's good old Sylvanas and um, Lady Leadrin. So these are your, I guess you could say good guys or sure, bad guys, sure, but sure. Uh, they're the Horde okay. figures that come with it. And then the Alliance figures are going to be your Varian Wren, who's the leader of all the humans, and the um, Jaina Proudmore. And then Muradin Bronzebeard, the dwarf. Oh, okay. Right? And then um, as an extra, they gave us the Tyrion Fordring, because he's part of the Lich King story. So, oh. And he has the Ashbringer sword, which is the famous sword of killing undead. Whoa. Whoa. So we're going to do some of that. I like his coat cape swirling there. Yeah, yeah. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with our buddy, the Lich King, because we want to make sure that we, uh, he should be the easiest to do because he's mainly all um, all silver. Basically, this is our reference photo. You can see he's got basically blue eyes, and but everything else is just straight up silver, really. There's a little bit maybe gold highlights on the edges of the armor, but it's just, and blue cape and blue, because he's ice, you know, he's a, uh, Lich King is very cool. ice, frozen throne, frozen stuff. So he's going to be a bluish thing. But first, we want to make this guy have some uh, steel armor type stuff. So we're going to show you how to do armor, which is cool. But the first thing I think I want to do, which is the hardest part of all, is I think I want to get his eyes blue. Because what we're going to do when we do the armor is that we're really going to... Uh, put a gray or a black on top of this, and then we're going to dry brush silver on it. But I don't want to do all that work, uh, basically making it black and then dry brushing silver and then do the eyes and have the eyes get blue everywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I gotcha. That makes sense. So it's probably better to try to do that now. And we have this really cool color called Araman Blue, which I think is my kind of poppiest, glowy mm -hmm. blue you can think of there because for me i'd be thinking if i do the blue first i'm gonna end up covering it up with all the black and gray that you're gonna do like that's what i would be worried about but i guess you don't really have to worry right because you could always go back and fix the blue yeah. but yep. are you are you expecting to stay out of the blue out of the blue once you lay it down um yeah yeah once we put the blue because the blue is basically going to go in his eye sockets right. so that's so recessed in there uh, that whatever okay. i do on top is not gonna it's not gonna get, not get in gonna there get as well in there and be all right so okay. this is the the most surgery part of the of the, thing. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is shrink us down whoa whoa we're shrunken whoa we're tiny we're all like right. minis ourselves whoa that's right and so here we here we go here we go are you getting oh i guess you don't have any uh segues or intros or bumpers to be like let's paint oh oh yes i do actually yeah, yeah. because we're we did the priming we did the gray you did the, the priming white. you did the gray now we're gonna do color Whoa. let's get color on these bad boys i don't know if we went away at all but whoa well, all right, so we got our pot of blue here. We put it in a little holder because these pots tend to get all um, turned around. Mm. They can get knocked over and make your bad day for you. We got a good old 5-0 brush Ooh, here, right. which is my teeniest, tiniest kind of brush so oh. I can get into his little eye sockets there. And, yeah, we're just going to put some uh, paint on this 
brush and hopefully we're not going to um, screw it up. All right, so here we go. Get him in the camera. Yeah. There you go. In there. Right, yeah, get in there. Good job. Now hold still, Lich King. This might tickle. It takes a steady hand. All right. And we're done. And we're done. We got blue. Good night, everybody. There you go. All right, so that's cool. So we'll uh, we'll come back to that blue when we do the sword a little bit later. But right now, what we're going to do now the beauty of this method of doing the kind of white highlight here is that then you can put contrast paints right on top of these guys. And what we're really going to be using the contrast paints for is not really to um, to get the contrast paint color, but it's it's really to use it more as what they call a glaze. We want to get like a oh, okay. kind of a transparent color to shine through. In this case, what I want to do is I know I'm going to put silver on top of this and silver looks horrible on top of white. Mm. So really, we just want to put the gray on here to to kind of um, make the white not so white. So the silver will uh, adhere okay. to it. So, um, yeah, everywhere that we're going to basically have silver silver armor yeah we're going to put this kind of uh, gray oh, in the way. go up higher there you go oh good there. job yeah. hmm interesting like his home head is gonna have this and this is where i don't want to mess up the eyes i just did hmm. cool cool but if it's but if i do mess up the eyes we can come right back to it it's all cool I'm trying not to use also, I have a, a super magnifying glass, but I look like such a nerd when I oh, come on now. When I use it that I try not to use it if I can help it. So. Oh, you should use it if it helps you. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'll be black. right here to make fun of you. Don't worry. So this is gray. It's called Basilicum Gray Contrast Paint. And you can already see it's just toning down. Yeah. Like this white is very much, too much pop. Yeah. But I still want to have the the shat the like uh, mid tones if i what i used to do when i used to do metals is i would do it all black and then i would just do the gray mm. uh, the silver on top but um even in that case it just it kind of kills all of your um all of your shadows so your mid tone contrast it makes it completely black instead of having a nice balance of black mm. and white see i still have some highlights on there which yeah which is pretty nice. We're just going to put that there on his little glove. So I'm going to take you off track. When you were yeah. talking earlier, after you, when you were talking earlier about putting the wraith bone white, I think is the color. Yeah. Um, when did you do that in the priming? Did you leave it for last and make it like its own separate paint color? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah. Because after the two tone, um, priming is done yeah if you want to leave it just black and white that's why you don't overdo the white you kind okay. of like uh just leave it as a nice sure shade yeah, yeah. but um but you purposely use the but anytime color. you're going to add colors especially these contrast colors mm. to um these models that have been two-toned uh there's so much black in this yeah. that any contrast paint is just going to get really dark. So even if you have a light, like a super light blue, mm -hmm. when you put it on top of this black, it's going to just be black, it's dark gonna blue. It's going to get lost in it, yeah. Right. So you want to make sure that you, um, that you're, it, you're going to want to make sure that you highlight after. So that's why I like to try to, um, lighten it up i lighten up the model almost too light when yeah. you uh when i prime it it's almost like yeah wow that's really light like you can totally tell when i did like jaina see uh -huh. i went way overboard on the white where her skin is going to be yeah but when we put the contrast paint on that skin it's going to look really cool because it's going to look just like skin okay gotcha so we're using it to our advantage So anything that's going to be silver right now, I'm just putting gray on it. Because mm -hmm. then we're going to dry brush the silver right on top. Hmm. It's going to be cool. 
You can see he's already starting to get some nice like texture. Yeah. It's sort of looking like silver, even though I haven't put a silver anything on it yet, right? Yeah. Maybe you can see it better. All right, so there we go. Hmm. So now we're going to want to, anytime the contrast paints take a while to dry before we put the silver on. So we're okay. going to have to wait for that to dry a little bit. That's cool because we want to paint it, his little um, sash thing and his cape. And we definitely want to do those in a blue. Oh, okay. All right. Because he's, he's the Lich King, which means he's the Lord of Ice, the Ice Throne. Whoa. Which means that he, um, he, his special power is freezing things, really. So um, we have a couple of different blues to choose from. I typically like to go with this um, Tal Talisar blue. I've used it so much you can barely even see the name. Uh, it's called Talisar blue. This is a really nice, big, bright, mm. poppy blue. Okay. Normally, if I were, if I had um, primed him white, I would use a dark blue for this because it's going to be really dark. Oh. But when I put this super light blue yeah you'll see that this already has a lot of gray and black in there so when we put the blue on top of it it's really going to um be muted oh, okay and you can see so uh here we go so you know it's going to be muted so you're not concerned with how bright this blue is because it's going to be yeah, dampened yeah. by yep. the black that's already there yep and we cool. just want to yeah, and we're again, we don't want to use it for the contrastness of the paint. We just want to use it for the color, right? So we want to kind of, so I can still see the shadows and things underneath. Mm -hmm. underneath. So there, even that's a little bit too bright, but it's cool. I like it. We're going to do the same thing with this cape. I'm going to bring this uh, paper towel over here. So, because a lot of times what I'm going to do is uh, when I get some of this contrast paint on the brush. Yeah. I really want to wipe it, like pat it down, so I'm only getting the color. I don't want to glob it on, so you can see. Mm. We're just kind of like uh, rubbing it in. So that way I preserve all of these deep shadows and stuff that the primer gave us, right? So now you're really just getting like a hint of color. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's what we want. So, cause, cause that makes it like this texture kind of shine through, which is really cool. Right. If I just glob this on, it's going to cover up a lot of the, it may even um, go over, like fill in some of the shadows. And I definitely want these, like these black, these deep black crevices. We want to yeah. keep those if we can. Right. So, so we're definitely going to just uh, kind of rub more like a, I'm almost like rubbing it in like a, like I'm basting a turkey or something. <laughs> The Lich King is delicious. Yeah. He's basted. <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming up. Right, so can kind of see where you're going with that. Yeah. Hmm. And you can already see it pops up. And this is why I use really bright contrast paints. Because this, if I did this on it with a white primer, this blue really looks like cartoon blue. I mean, it's uh, super blue. Okay. But when you put it on this kind of black primer, it really looks uh, it fits, muted. It fits yeah. the if it's the genre. If I put if, if I put style. dark blue on this, the whole thing would be black. Right. And then that would cover up all these cool shadows that I've created with the uh, with the primer, yeah. with the two tone priming method. So. Hmm. So now I'm just looking for areas that maybe the white is too much, and I want to kind of rub some color in there. And that's it. The beauty I love about this method too is you don't have to be super precise because again the the black lines give you um, leeway to uh, color in the lines a little bit easier. If I did this normally with like um, again just a white primer, um, it would I would have to be very careful that I didn't go, go over this yeah. line or that line and right. have to be super careful of coloring in the lines. But with this, I can just kind of um, slap it on. Slap it. I just don't want to do it too, uh, you know, 
too blobbed on. Mm -hmm. You're really just getting color to adhere to the to the um, to the two-tone primer that you've already done. And just like that, we've got a uh, blue cape with uh, nice. some blue sashy sash thing here. All right. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we might want to do is that art this, as we can see, has white hair when you take his uh, oh, when you take helmet off. off. His, uh, helmet. All right. Ooh. So. Uh, so I think the Is model actually has, hair yeah, there's what? some hair. Poking I think out. you can see some hair right there. Oh, okay. So um, let me see. We've got a white layer paint that I have. That I right, because an icy dude would have yeah, right? icy He's, white hair. So I use this white scar. It's a layer paint, and uh, with Citadel, they um, the layer paints are called layer paints because they are thinned down. So they're... Oh, so you can paint them over and over and over yep. and like because the idea with this we've done all of the work is in this two-tone primer right we have all of our highlights and our shadows so we really just want to color the highlights and the shadows we don't want to replace my highlights and shadows with color right, right. so so anytime we put anything on these models we're going to want to um just kind of make sure that it's the underneath is shining through right cool cool so there you go. So a little higher where are oh, you sorry. sorry i'm just here to make sure he stays on camera folks oh yeah oh, so put a little white oh, hair nice. there that's his white hair yep yeah there's not a lot showing so that's pretty much all we need to do there i think and now we got blue eyes and blue, blue contrasted mm -hmm. with this stuff. And then we're just going to, uh, I think we're about ready to do our silver. So let me show you how that works. With normal contrast paints, I would want the paint to seep into the crevices and make the blacks for me or the darker colors for me. Mm -hmm. But with this, um, I'm just spreading it as a glaze on top. So it will dry a lot quicker that way because it's just kind of glazed on. So it's fine. So what we want to do is dry brush this with... Uh, with a silver, and our go-to silver is always, without fail. Bus, is it the bus silver? The Rune Fang oh. Steel. Oh, is whoops! What we use. My Rune bad. I was mistaken. All right. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to take like a kind of a stubby brush. Um, I tended to use like a brush like this. Again, those uh, makeup brushes that we were using before. Yeah. Um, short bristles yeah, just there. something with short bristles. And we're going to do a dry brush. So we're going to take a bunch, a bunch of, of paint. paint on the pot. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then we're just going to rub it. it. We're going to rub it on the paper <laughs> towel like so. Yeah. Get rid of all the paint and then, yeah. Yeah, and then we should be able to just, um, again, uh, like we do with the car wash, we just want to kind of squishy, whoa, whoa, squishy. Whoa. You can kind of see that next to uh, Silver come out just like that. Uh, less is more on this because basically, if you do it super silver, then um, it's just going to be silver. You're not going to have any of those deep. Yeah. We want those shadows that we made before, right? So we really just want the silver to to seriously just be on top. That's it, right? So on these blades, you want to make sure it's kind of on the edge of the blade. But you don't want to go too. You don't want to go too deep. All right. So just again, now here's the. Now remember, also you want to go against the grain on these things because you we just wanted to put it on top, right? Yeah. Sure. This guy. And that's all there is too. We got Whoa. a painted lunch can, just like that, right? That is very cool. Right, the silver, the silver definitely looks. Yeah. Ends up looking pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. The trick is you got to have like that dark underneath, and then you can. Uh, and don't put too much on, otherwise, if it's globbed on, it's just going to look silver, and you don't want that to happen. So. Right. So 
there you go. I think we're pretty good. Now, here's the other thing we can do is um, because we just want to get this guy to the table. First thing we want to do is his his uh, this is the the sword he has is called Frostmorn. Mm. And it is uh, the sword and the armor are basically the imbued with the soul of the Nerzul, who is oh. the Lich King of the demon underlord oh, world. Okay. And uh, um, so it all glows blue. I was going to say it so, like radiates and glows. And... Okay. Yeah. So cool. one thing we can do if we want to get uh, crazy is we want to make the, the little runes on the sword mm. blue. Mm. Now, one thing you could do is you could just go in and... <laughs> But this will be an easy, maybe dry brush if we do something with like a really tiny, teeny, tiny brush. So Whoa! What? So instead of going in on purpose, like you did the eyeballs with the really, yeah. really tiny. So I'm gonna, brush, again, we're gonna do gonna... our our Aramon blue. Okay. We're gonna do a dry brush. Yeah. So I'm to gonna hit those. I'm gonna jewels. take a brush like this. It's kind of like already on its way out the door. <laughs> um, and you can kind of see what I want to do is I'm gonna want to be able to just kind of. Flick it on the runes, and hopefully only the runes will get blue, and nothing else will get blue, if we're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll put this on here. We're going to try it out. I can, now I always wear gloves, so I can just test it on the glove to see if any blue is going to come off, or if any blue that I want to come off. All right. And then we can uh, give we it go. a go. Now it's okay if you get blue a little bit around because the whole thing's supposed to be glowing, right? So it's yeah. a, it's a glow. So yeah, it's just a little bit glowing. Mm -hmm. And then if we want to then go to with our detail brush that we had before. Are you gonna go in specific and yeah, hit this file. Nice. And I'll just get because uh, that's the other thing is that, again, anytime you do something over mm -hmm. my black, mm -hmm. it's um, it's going to be uh, 10 times darker than the original color. So if you really want these things to, yeah. to kind of glow bright like the eyes do, um, you want to kind of just put a little bit of, put a couple of dots on here. <laughs> that's tiny. And I've already put too much time into this, but <laughs> but it's the Lich King. But these guys are cool, so you definitely want to have something yeah. cool. All right, so so that makes it a little bit shine through. Maybe I want to do his eyes again because I think the so now here's where I get crazy and ruin everything. when you put the silver yeah sometimes it gets into the crevice and then your, yeah. your blue eyes get screwed up Whew. well that's what i talked about you know but just like you said if it happens mm -hmm. you just go back and um redefine it yeah it that's the beauty about these paints is that um you can always just paint over it if you yeah. don't like it all right so i think we got the lich king if we if we would think that the silver looks bland by itself we might want to color the armor blue but i think we're good i'm not going to touch him anymore he's he's good in my mind lich king is ready to go marion rin that's his name oh. not storm he is the leader of storm rin and also the leader of all of azeroth alliance he's the wow. leader of the alliance so good old gulamon flesh this is your go-to human flesh color and what we do is, and like I mentioned before, I pre-primed these guys. So here's our two-tone prime. And then his face and his hands, I actually went and did Wraith Brone primer, just straight up Wraith. People's faces don't have such dark shadows. Okay. So you don't need the two-tone priming really. shadow. So you don't want that much... Um, 
darkness yeah. in a human face. You want human faces to look more, um, more human. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's going to be his face, and then look at his little arm here. I think technically he's wearing a glove, but I like the idea of him basically just uh, having a hand out here like a fist, like I'm ready to punch you, right? And in this case, we are using the contrast paint to kind of get into those little crevices, so it makes it uh, a little bit a little bit darker. All right, so there you go. There's Varian. We're not going to do this hand as like a gauntlet on it. Mm. I guess we could do this hand though. The hand is showing through yeah, the, the hand showing through the sword. Ice. Yep, and his sword is a special sword too. It's called Charlemagne. Because basically, part of the story is he um, he actually got split in two, and he had two different swords, and then the two swords came together. So Whoa. That's cool. All right, uh, let's do the black his black hair now. Okay. And that we're actually going to use a black contrast paint. Yes, and for anything black, we use good old black Templar. And yes, I I tend to do. Like and the, and actually, you're right. We should probably do the armor first because then we want the armor to dry, so we can put the silver on it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I black is the stainiest of all oh, the colors. Okay. So if you screw up the black, then there's no coming back. So. Ooh. Yeah. That's why it's good to maybe do the black first, so that way, if you um, get it all over something, you can repaint it mm. later. Okay. All right, from here, he's got black hair, so we're just going to let's see that. All right. Perfect. All right, and then everything else is going to be basically um, armor. So we want to do the same thing we did with um, the blue. Or yeah, ex we want to put a gray or some kind of gray down on this stuff. Mm -hmm. But let's kill two birds with one stone. Oh gosh, the birds! Okay, and um, we're going to use because we know his pauldrons are blue. So let's just put a blue down, and then I can put. Uh, silver on top. How are you? You're just kind of deciding. Yeah, we make this up as we go. Or like, I think my hangup would be, oh, there's one quarter black and three quarters gray, so I should. You yeah. Know what I, mean? yeah. I think I would make decisions that way by uh, space and who, what color is the, takes up the most space or something. How but, I make the decisions is basically. Um, the type of material I'm trying to go for. So I know oh, so metals. I know that metals need or... a dark background. Okay. I know that I'm either gonna go full black for them and then dry brush a metal on top, or I'm gonna do like this. Yeah. And do a gray so that way when I dry brush the metal, I still have the midtones. Yeah. Which is really cool. Okay. Um, that makes yeah. sense. Yep. Let's see what this looks like. Made over a right, so we know his pauldrons are yeah this blue kind of color right yeah it might even be darker blue but i don't know um this cape you know his cape is red so that's interesting he's got red pants and a red cape he's got blue pauldrons so what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to paint the whole thing i know that's going to be gold later but that's cool because the gold will apply so much better over this blue mm. than it will over white. Mm. All right, so, so it's kind of cool that we can just do that and do this one too. And it's not going to, might be a stupid question, putting the gold over that blue, it's not going to make it look green, right? Like yellow and blue make green. No, like they no, don't mix no, together. because the paint colors are not layer paints. Okay. They gotcha. will go right on top. Okay. So let's see anyway now in this case you can see how um i maybe went a little too heavy on the blue so uh not a lot of the there's still some highlights coming out of here and some midtones uh it still looks cool the key is i want to make sure these crevices are still really dark and mm -hmm. they are i think so we we were able to preserve that which is pretty nice
but Blood Angel's red is pretty much the the main red Whoa. that it looks like red. Okay. But we really want to be easy on it because it can, because you see how we have all these really nice shadows here in the cape? Yeah. We don't want to lose any of that. You're going to see. I'm just kind of not even putting a lot on. I'm kind of dabbing most of this off the brush and just putting right on there like so. Then we can kind of build it up a little bit so it's a little bit more mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. red. Mm -hmm. But I want to keep those shadows so you want to go easy. Yeah. Right. These pants are red too so it's cool to make the pants a little red. Some red in here to break things up. This is when you curse 3D modelers for making the capes. <laughs> they go so low. Yeah. All right, let's get the sword. So, first, just like uh, normal, we're going to kind of brush it on the edge. Brush it on the edge. Make that silver. All right, silver sword done. Now, one thing, I think his pauldrons, even though they're kind of these lion things, mm -hmm. they're still kind of metalish. So, I want to just super lightly brush these guys with some metal to make the make it like a highlight almost. Mm -hmm. All right, so then you have like a little break up there. It's not just blue. It's yeah. Like blue with some yeah, I can see that. A little. So it's a it's like a white highlight, but it's metallic, so it makes it it's a good way to cheat. So you don't have to. You still get a metal look, but you don't have to. Yeah. Oh, the root auric armor gold. Oh. Auric armor gold. All right. The good old five zero. We like that. Right, five zero. And we're going to um, grab some paint here and get on in the camera. Yeah. And we really just want to kind of, you know, and again, the beauty is we don't have to be super exact. We just want to get some gold on there. It's almost like a dry brush. And that's why you don't have to be super exact. You just want to get it on the edges. Alright. So we know that. A little higher. A little. There. Oh, there you go. Much better. Alright. It doesn't have to be perfect. We would like it to be perfect, but this is more like making a almost like a metallic dry brush than a, than a strict line. We don't need it to be like a... You can use your finger to wipe it off if you, <laughs> if you glob it on too much. You don't want to glob it. Oh, crap. I got on the sword, too. Uh-oh. Abort. 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 <laughs> So and then what I like to do is um, kind of take the brush on the side and like maybe still too much paint on this bad boy. Kind of, you know, uh, I, I want to make sure I'm only getting the highlighted ridges or whatever mm -hmm. of the armor. Again, I'm trying to make it like a dry brush because you can see there's like little chains and stuff in here. And if you don't do this texturing then it'll just look like blue and nobody wants to see just blue i think that covers in there that's some crazy detail it looks and really good just do a little bit of the pauldron or the foot what do you call those greaves yeah get 
some gold on these greens. And there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just looking for if the model has mountains and valleys, mm. I'm looking to put gold on the mountains. Right. So the knee is a little bit too much, so you can just use your finger to kind of scrape it off. There That's what I like about this. What's that? Well, you're not being precious and you're not getting upset and you're, you know, wishing something was a different way or anything. It's just, uh, you know, you like your things to be painted so that when you play, it can be as awesome. It can look as awesome as it looks. That's right. right. That's right. All right. So there's he very Rim. He's good. And yeah. we're on to the next one. Oh, my goodness. Now, here's the thing with. Uh, yeah. With girls, women, women, female, there's even less shadow that you want to oh, show. You, mean, want you really want it to be as lighter. even and light and mm. super light as you can as you can make it. So I see. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna flesh her face, and she's got a little midriff. Did you say midriff? Yeah. Midriff. Midriff Mid is Tokyo Drift. Oh, is. that is Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Midriff. Okay, and I think I didn't actually wash this brush out because it's looking red, which is bad. Okay, so. Okay. Fire. Right. There you go. Otherwise, you're like behind my own yep. head on this. So we just put some flesh on her face, her arms, and her midriff. That's right. All right. We're going to even lighten this up more with some uh, flesh color. But right now, she's got um, blonde hair. So oh. what I use for blonde hair is the good color called iodine yellow. Okay. Iodine yellow. Now the cool part about iodine yellow is that when you use it as a contrast, it actually goes from yellow to red. <clears throat> oh, weird. So you can use it as like red hair, or I use it a lot for flames. It'll mm. if you put it on any kind of flame, it'll make it look cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but for hair that's blonde, I just try to dab on just the yellow. I don't want anything else contrasty coming out. So, so hmm. that's it. Because because we have kind of our two-tone um, shade already happening. So I yeah. don't really need the contrast paint to give me any contrast. I want her to be... She's definitely a strict blonde. I see. Like super bright blonde. What do you call that? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so there she is. She's blonde. We got it right here. Keys live flesh. This is my go-to girl flesh color, or really, if you want to have a super smooth flesh tone. Hmm. You'd say it's like a beauty kind of thing? Yeah, like a beauty thing. Like a soft focus? Because like you can one. see, even with the contrast paints, with even me not doing anything, it still looks kind of rough. Mm -hmm. But when you put this on, it really makes it kind of, uh, I guess, milky would be the word. Oh, creamy. Yeah. Soft focus. And it's a layer, so it definitely goes on top of what you got. Oh, already. okay. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah. So it makes a nice little highlight. Just like that. I think she's got good looking flesh tones. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we need to figure out what color is she. This is our Jaina. Oh, cool. All right. So it looks like she's got purple, mm -hmm. silver pauldrons, mm -hmm. and then it's purple and white. So it's all purple and white. They're just so tiny. And look at it. She's so tiny. Mm -hmm. It's just so tiny. It is tiny, right? Wow. Yeah. All right. So we're going to gray up these pauldrons. Okay. Shimmy over a little bit. There you go. Okay. 
right. And then those will get silver on them once we're ready. Okay. All right. Then the next thing is that we want purple. Yeah. Goodness. It's when called you, Magos Purple. When do you ever get to use purple? It seems like. It's purple a lot, actually. It's a, really? Yeah, because this uh, Magos Purple is a really light purple, which it works great for our two-tone. So first things first, we definitely know that this is purple. So let's make this purple. Mm. Purple. Lavender. Violet. Yeah. All right, there you go. Now we could leave this because that looks white, right? And so at the end of the day, but this is really kind of a darker and maybe her white is a little bit whiter. So which is our white scar layer paint. So this is my go-to white paint. And you're going to do the like the, I don't want to call it a highlight, but. Yeah, we're just going to kind of make this not so dark. Like, I really like the dark stuff, but. Maybe, okay, gotcha. Maybe it'll lighten it up just a little bit. Right? So, so it makes it more light. Interesting. Whoops, that's too much. It's got white for sure. Now, what I didn't see is what is the color of her staff? And I'm pretty sure that her staff is gold. Um, so I'm going to want to do this as gray also, so that way we'll do the gold. We're just going to make this gray because this will end up being gold. Pretty sure this and I don't even remember what she's got in the game. But. So now I'm going to just do a little bit of silver on our pauldrons. And then we're going to do the gold trim just like we did for Varian. Uh, it's such a teeny tiny area, this little pauldron. Mm. I don't need that giant makeup brush anymore. So I'm still going to do a dry brush, but I'm just going to use a normal brush. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of uh, <clears throat> lick it on here. Get some silver on there. It's not, you know, because I don't want to put too much silver in. Uh, if I use that big brush, I would get silver on her head. Probably, yeah, I would just go kind of everywhere. Stuff. And I'm going to put a little bit on her bustier too, because we want it to at least be shiny. Because even though it's purple colored, yeah, it's still um, metal. It's a metal yeah. armor. Cool. All right. Interesting. Yeah, she's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, I think I just want to trim. So whatever her thing is, it's going to get a trim. It's almost more like a highlight than an actual. I'm not trying to paint the whole thing. I'm just trying to highlight it. You mean like where like the sun would hit it or something? Is that what you mean by highlight? Yeah, just on the edges yeah. of it. Cool, cool. So yeah, um, it's really cool the story behind all this stuff. I'm uh, listening. I like the Warcraft. Yeah, apparently Jaina and Arthas like grew up together in the same magic school or same school. Mm. And they tried to be lovers, but they couldn't. Why? Because it just, it is forbidden. What's that's in the right, lesson? It was forbidden. Oh, no. Well, that's what happens. And then, and then what happened? When their love got squashed, mm. did they turn evil he and did. icy? He, he lusted for power. See, that's what happens. You got to... You got to let love rule. But uh yeah, that's what happens. So don't do it. That's right. Just put a little gold on these pauldrons. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, one other thing I missed, it apparently her oh yeah, we want to get the this what? uh staff. I'm pretty oh. sure the staff is gold too, so again. 
is gold. If it's not gold, well, it's gold now. It's gold now. It's almost like a dry brush. I'm kind of just making the brush go on the outside of it. Mm -hmm. So it's still, uh, I still want to preserve the dark crevices. It's so easy, especially with these metal paints, to kind of go too much. And then you, and you totally um, lose all the definition. It just becomes a glob of metal. All right, so now there's that. That there is a little bit of a, perfect. Yeah, so just a little bit of purple contrast on there. And she's got purple feet, just like that. All right, Jaina Dunn. Jaina Dunn. Who is it? This is good old Sylvanas Windrunner. Whoa. Now, Sylvanas, um, yeah. in, the, in the game, there's different races or different. Yeah factions you can play yeah. and uh, um, so one of the horde factions is undead so you can play an undead and she is like the leader of the undead okay they call it the forsaken whoa but really she's the most thematic with lich king because lich king is the one that made her he actually killed her and turned oh. her into undead and then made her kill her own people Oh. Until she finally broke free of the curse and became, uh, so she's still undead, but mm. she has her own will about her now. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. So this one's kind of tricky because there's all sorts of different color schemes. But I think what we're definitely going with here is um, she's definitely, see, sometimes this looks red. Yeah. But this is definitely going to be all purple with a blue skin, like a like an aqua blue oh, skin. okay. So I think that's what I'm going to go with there. So color. We don't want to have any shadows, really. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go with this athermatic blue. Whoa. Um, it's either that or I have one. No, this is it. Yep. Because she has a really unique skin color, but I think this will do a really good job. Okay. Right, I'm going to get a new brush because that old brush was getting all goopy. All right, so first we're going to do her skin because you always do lighter colors first. You can always um, paint over lighter colors. You can't always paint over darker colors. Mm, okay. All right, we're gonna just do that really light because we don't want to have a ton of shadows because she does have, you know, supermodel skin. So you don't want anything to pull. You want it to really just be one solid color if you can help it. And yeah, I think that's a really cool, that is her color, which is cool. All right, that's super cute. All right, so now I'm just going to do purple on her armor and her cape. I think that purple should look really good. So let's just do all of these purple and then we'll get the edges uh, yeah. silver. And then these are white feathers. So she's got some feathers on the side that I don't okay. want to color because they're going to be white. There you, there you go. There you go. All right. Because contrast paints will try to fill in these crevices, but we don't want to fill in the crevices because I already made that with my two-tone right. primer. Now, she also, like Jaina, has blonde hair. Mm -hmm. So we're going to come and do some blonde hair on this also. Let's finish doing her. Well, that looks damn, damn cool. This definitely came out better than I thought. Mm -hmm. 
Now, here's the thing. Uh, you see how her eyes are red? Yeah. We could try to make her eyes red, but man. Is it pretty tiny in there? It's super tiny in there. Mm -hmm. I might do it later. Yeah. If I can figure it out, it's pain in the, pain in the butt. I have been yellow, give some yellow. silicone gray and yeah because I think her bow is pretty much all silver too so we're just going to make this gray All right, and then um, this thing on her back. Mm -hmm. This will be gray. And one thing I always like to do with arrows, you notice how they always have the quiver things yeah. or whatever mm -hmm. on the ends? Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but it always looks best if you use red for the quiver arrow color or the Really? Fletch, they call it, I think, or whatever the tail of yeah. the arrow is. Yeah. I did not realize. Yeah, it just makes it, it always makes it pop. <laughs> it makes it look like real arrows for some reason. That's funny. Right. All right. If you say so. Yeah. So we're just going to paint these little. There's a white. All right, cool. Then we just need some silver on this bad boy, and we're we're done. So really want to just kind of lightly. You can see it, right? Brush it on there. Mm -hmm. Really cover up the purple, but it's just kind of gives it a little shine. Right? I'm just kind of dry brushing it on, but with this. Uh, but with with the with a normal brush. Yeah, yeah with a yeah. more focused brush. So even though it's dry brush, you yeah, are. Yeah. So the key is you just want to make purposeful. sure it's not, yeah, it's purposeful, exactly. You don't want to, and you notice too, I do a lot of the, like in golf, you do a practice swing. <laughs> I do yeah. like this where I'm like. Because you want to see if the bristles are going to hit where you're going. Right, yeah. you want to make sure they're hitting where you want. Yeah. Yeah. And there you go. And put some silver on there. Put some silver on this crossbow. And that is it. Sylvanas. Mm -hmm. I think this is making it hard to focus. Oh yeah, I think we, the uh, the gauntlets also need some more silver here. Mm -hmm. right here. Right. Very cool. Yeah, that's better. So we get that nice shiny. Yeah, she looks cool. All right. Yeah, she is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to do the war chief thrall. Whoa. So he is the head of the orcs and also the head of the horde. So they actually have a contrast paint called orc flesh. Oh, nice. So, there you go. So we know that some of these are going to be red. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, though, let's get his face. And works have pointy ears too, so we can make sure his ears like so. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't want to, you know, I don't need so much contrast because my
because he's a hero figure. If you were a monster, you would want him to have a really dark, a darker, yeah, darker face. But oh, my notice orcs have little elf ears. That's pretty fun. He's got a widow's peak. Mm -hmm. Let's see there. It's like uh, he's kind of balding. It's tough work. Tough work. It's tough work. Work. That's right. Say that ten times fast. Work, 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 work. I can't. Right, so there you go. Um, and now he's got hands. So we'll do his hands green. Mm -hmm. He's basically the Hulk. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know that this is actually. I kind of assumed his skin showing through here. It is now. Mm -hmm. Gives him that gladiator look, I think. I do like that. All right. He's got black hair. Let's go do his black hair. Okay. On camera, sorry. Oh. So, again, you want to get it on there, but you don't want to. Yeah, right. I'm like thinking the Hulk. I'm thinking the Frankenstein right now because it's just the black and the green, but I know it'll obviously look like him when it's done. He does have some long few reds, so uh, I'm gonna say, well, we definitely know this is black. We know this is black. So then this is probably the first red, so then we can do this. this. Right. And there's that. Now we're going to put gray. front and the reason is uh, yeah we definitely don't want the highlights to be too much here because we know that silver and gold will not go yeah. well over white so if there if it looks white you're not going to see silver or gold metal colors come through so we just want to darken these up so that way when we put the silver and the gold on mm -hmm. Basically, they have something to stick to. Yeah. That's the idea behind it. Also gives us a nice kind of texture, too. Oh, yeah. Check them out. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. There. All right, and then um, it's time for silver. Silver. So, um, this is definitely not silver. This is like a, a tunic. Mm -hmm. So we should decide what color we want that to be. I imagine it would be red because of the horde. Mm -hmm. And I'll start with his hammer. And again, less is more. You just kind of. You want it to be more black than not. Mm -hmm. Let's put silver on these guys. I've watched you paint so much. I still wouldn't be able to. I just don't think. Oof. That's just me. I would just be scared. I would still just have a hang up about screwing it up mm -hmm. or something. But if anything, I mean, we've seen everything tonight, right? <laughs> we've like gotten silver on red. We went and redid the eyeballs. Yeah, so true. yeah, it's really yeah. yeah, you can just it's screw not a it. it's not it's, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. If you screw something up. Yeah, it's just and you could also put more work into this if you want to, but we're just trying to yeah, get this to the table, yeah. so we're gonna get that going. All right, so that's our silver. Now we're gonna go back to the gold. Mm -hmm. Good old uh auric armor gold. And see what we can see. So um, again, I'm gonna kind of do it in a dry, brushy kind of fashion. 
We just want to get some highlights on there. To break it up. You don't want to. Yeah. You know, you don't want it to be all silver. It'll just look kind of boring. And that's why less is more on this because the the really the you want it to look like scraped because that's really what metal ends up looking like mm. it looks like it was like chipped away over time I think his little sashes will make red just because he's the horde and horde needs to have red, <laughs> right? I think yeah. that's the way to do that. Cool, cool. Who cares? Well, everyone has an opinion, right? Everyone, that's right. right? When you just learn from somebody else, you just do what you do, what they've taught you, or do what you've learned until. Until you find another way, or you don't find another way, or you right. see an alternate thought process about something That's that right. emails. Yeah. Or I guess it could even be like human hair brushes. It doesn't have to be animal hair. But the point is, yeah, if it's I real hair, it doesn't. Human. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't split as much. Because the trouble is, um, mm -hmm. you'll see, like these bristles end up getting like. Sure, frayed. Oh, wacky out. If they get yeah. frayed, then it's almost impossible to paint with it. Well, really yeah, because you're going to, but yeah. yeah, that doesn't mean you got to go around uh, using animals for paintbrushes. How about That's that? Right. That's there right. were a million other ways I was going to say that, and that mm -hmm. was the best way that it came out. So, All right, there's one last thing that we need to do for our good old orc shaman leader yeah. of the world is it to give him a snack <laughs> is it to give him a beer or maybe a glass of champagne or something he definitely needs something <laughs> what are you gonna give him um we need to give him some teeth because orc... oh he has those i don't know fangs yeah, or yeah orcs have like underbite teeth yeah, yeah. sort of yeah, yeah there you go so this is where i might put on my nerd glasses oh <gasps> finally he's gonna break them out <laughs> everybody whoa because you want to be able to see, you want to be, <laughs> you want to get in there. There he is, you guys. You know he's serious. Now. He he wears those all the time. Right now. Okay, good. Yeah. What do you got there? It's not perfect, but it'll do, pig. It'll do, pig. He's been in battles. Maybe his teeth are <laughs> His teeth or... hurt. Yeah. So we might fix that later. But that just gets us going for yeah. uh, getting him on the day. You don't got to fix it later for me because I won't be able to see it. <laughs> well, that's the beauty about these painting games because, <laughs> I mean, you know, it just gonna... has to be good enough to be seen well, from yeah. afar you don't have to actually right um, i mean we're gonna right, right it's gonna be right here on the table on friday and it just <laughs> needs it just looks better when it's painted versus not that's right and just the detail is gonna yep. especially these guys i mean you know this game 
Special. I'm going to show you. So this is Lady Liadrin. She is another one of these. Um, she's a blood elf. So, but she has normal colored skin. So first we're going to flesh color her. We're, we're, I got an idea to do her super quick. Normal colored skin. You just mean not blue or green. Or yeah. You, human colored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Human flesh. Human flesh. Human flesh. <laughs> All right. Can we see that? That's what she's going to get some flesh. These are her hands. This is her body, much like uh, we did with Jaina. Mm -hmm. right? But she's got elf ears just like Sylvanas. So we need to paint her little ears too. She's got legs here. And uh, uh, yeah. All right, so that's our base flesh color. I guess would be the term. Yeah. Yeah, you're just off a little. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. now so there you go. I don't want part. I don't want to again, this is contrast paint, so I don't want the the reds to come out. I only want the blonde because we want it to be really good blonde. Blonde hair, all right. All right, so we got our blonde. And yeah, if we want to see the reference. Yes. This is her Where is it? here. That's what we're trying to do. This is what we're trying to do. Oh, cool. Huh. Yeah. Right. The, uh, the contrast really makes it, it tries to make it darker. So yeah. it's really good for like um, a dirty, battle beaten warrior. <laughs> but when you're trying to get a, just a nice, smooth skin tone to be all one smoothness and we just want to do this like layer on top and that brightens the whole thing up okay and then i'll make it look a little bit more realistic with the face you want to be careful because you still want some of that shadow in there yeah because uh, one thing we do when we speed paint is we don't paint eyes if we can help it. <laughs> uh, Lich King was an exception to right. our rule. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, she's definitely, we want her to have nice smooth skin, but we also don't want her to get some flesh on her sword there. <laughs> Uh, but we don't want to lose this uh, contrast in the eyes because we're not going to paint her eyes. So we definitely don't want to. If I were to just glob this flesh on right oh, now, gotcha. it would cover up that. So we want to kind of leave that. So that should be fine. All right. All right. Now, normally we would um, cover this armor in gray as well. Mm -hmm. But since the armor is red anyway, I'm just, here's the trick. We're just going to paint her red all over. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do gold dry brush. And she'll be done in Whoa. five seconds. Cool. Now, now, you see what I did there is that um, I went on too thick. So I'm kind of losing the detail that I have underneath. I don't want it to be so thick. So let's just spread it around. So we still want, even though, See how those highlights pretty much go away instantly so we want to preserve as much as the detail of the dark to light as we yeah. can we're going to lose a lot of the light but and sometimes um i'll end up going back later and dry brushing lighter colors over just to bring some of that lightness back but, mm. but for now um it's really just about putting it on light to begin with so i can preserve as much of this as i can Super. She's uh she ends up looking like that. I don't know if you ever if you remember that Dracula movie that had Gary Oldman in it. Yes. What about it? 
her armor looks just like that right now. When you don't put the gold on it, it's just red oh, mm -hmm. armor. Mm -hmm. You mean Dracula. Uh, yes. just kidding. Just kidding. And I think Keanu Reeves is in that movie, too. Yes, he is. And here's Believe the one so. careful thing. This red uh -oh, yes. paint. Yeah. You don't want white spots to... It'll draw your eye away from... Yeah. The attention that you want to get out of this. See how we missed her underarm here? So I'm just going to put this right here. Mm -hmm. And since this is in contrast, it goes right on top. Of it, so you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Anything underneath showing through, it'll be, mm -hmm. it'll be there. So that's her, her arm there. Maybe if any red got on her skin, you can help clean that up. Just getting want her skin to be smooth. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, oh, and there's a little bit under here. Let's do silver on her sword, and then we've got gold for her, and she's done. Huzzah! I did it! You can scream, for the horde! And then, uh, you know. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? You're doing this sword. Putting some silver on her sword. Cool. Nice. Just mainly the silver is going to be on the edges. Be yeah. Some. Now the other cool part about her sword is that the, it looks like the hilt and the bottom part are gold. So oh, okay. We'll have to remember to go back with that when we do the gold. Good it's time luck for the to car you. wash. Take a deep breath. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> That's probably all we can do with this giant brush, unfortunately. So let me go back to our stubby. smaller, this stubby brush. Yeah. Now we can get the edges a little bit better with the stubby brush. And I can get this armor better with the stubby brush. Get this armor. And it really makes her kind of shine. All right, just like that. Holy moly. I think she's done. All right. All right. Lady Leandrian done. <laughs> Good old Moradin Bronzebeard. <laughs> He's a dwarf, you know. Oh, yes. Almost identical to Varian Rin color scheme. He's gonna, hmm. you know, have blue with gold. Mm -hmm. But really, this is all blue steel. So I think what we want to do is we want to steal him, and then we'll put blue on top. Oh, okay, cool. All right. So yeah. first thing we want to do is we want to get yellow for his beard. Right. He deserves a golden shiny beard. Beard. In this one, you can go a little bit more on the contrasty side because you kind of want the reds to shine through because that, uh, you know, these uh, dwarfs are really kind of like Scottish red hair. It's almost like a red hair than a yellow. Mm. But this is great to do red with. Right? So I'm going to do his face and his eyes. The silver would do the silver and then whoever needed yeah but yeah you can't do that you can do that when you're priming no you can actually like um, just sit put them all out there and be like who needs silver oh i don't i yeah. think that's a terrible idea yeah. i thought of it and just wonder why i normally do that um because it's really? uh what 
uh, like you want to do all the flesh colors first and then yeah. all the whatever. Um, so yeah. I don't, um, in this environment though, you see the trouble is that I kind of wing it as far as figuring out, figuring out the color schemes. Yeah. So I wouldn't, unless I actually had it figured out what the color scheme is. Yeah. Then a batch paint is hard to do because you don't know what the next color is going to be. Oh, okay. So that's what, so you call it a batch knew, paint, but if you had it all planned out. If I had it planned out that, you, you know, would all of paint. the people had this color flesh and this color armor and this right. color, whatever. And that would be then, easier. Yeah, it'd be yeah. super easy to batch paint that. Yeah. Mm, interesting. All right. Oops. I was off screen. All right. No, so here we go. Sure. We're all gray. Uh, now we're going to do um, it. I forgot I gave him hands. So we're going to have to do some flesh on him. So let's just do here's some hands for you. Here's some hands for you. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can put some flesh in his mouth. All right. Uh, he's got these horns here, so we'll just do a little bone color for the horns. Skeleton horde. Skeleton oh, horde is one of these. Freaky. This is great to use for skeletons. <laughs> or anything bone kind of well, color that you want to contrast. What color paint. is it? It just doesn't. You see, it's, it's just bone color. Look so. what I would think of as bone color. Yeah, so we're just going to do that. See, it's like an elephant tusk kind of color. Mm. You can see that. Yeah, yeah. Right. It just looks darker in the pot, in, the, in its own. Right. Yes. You will survive a little right. Remember, less is more. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he looks really cool. The detail is crazy. The shadows and stuff. Yeah. Wow. All right, so nice. that's that. So let's see the best way to do this. Deep breath. First thing we want to do is wing it as cape, because we know his cape is probably blue. So let's start with the non-metal things. <laughs> Nice deep blue cape. Cool. Isn't that awesome. So cool. I do love capes when they, because you know, with this two tone method, the shadows really. Make yeah, a nice... it's just it gives such drama and such great movement. Yeah, is what I'm totally digging. Yep. Yeah. So now I definitely want to keep all of this silver. I just want to give it like a little blue overcast, like a... right? So yeah. I'm really just going to kind of. Rub some blue on here so lightly right. that you wouldn't even know that it was there. Just enough to give you a little hint. So it almost makes it like a yeah. turquoise silver. Mm. Yeah. Neat, right? This blade is kind of blue. This center is blue. It's got a lot of blue going on here. But then finally, we know that this hammer yeah. has gold all over it, mm -hmm. right? So we just want to put some gold right up. This gold, for sure. Right. And then the other thing is some of this, I'm really just going to kind of set it's a it's a way you can dry brush or that I dry so I kind of make the brush go this way instead of this way. Mm -hmm. So I can just kind of brush the gold on there. Do you see that? Yeah. So then the gold on gets on the highlights. Right.
Nice. All right. Hmm. There he is, Murden. What? Um, yeah, I don't know if this axe thing has something kind of in the middle too. Could, uh, Where? Oh. You can see how it's like glowing? Oh, sure. So there's like some blue, yeah, white blue, like glowing things on here, but we don't need to get crazy. It's an axe. <laughs> I also want to make sure the edge of the blade yeah. is up, oh, up and over a little. There you go. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Yes. Wow. The edge has to be sharp. We lost some of that silver when I put the blue on, so that's why we're just kind of putting yeah. more silver on to kind of bring it back. All right, I think that's it. Mordens are done. Mm -hmm. Who is it? This Whoa. is Tyrion. Whoa. You saved him for last? He saved doesn't seem very last, difficult. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't seem very easy. <laughs> uh, no, he's not very easy, and I actually don't have a good reference photo for him, but he's mainly all, he's a paladin, so this is all going to be gold armor. So all we're going to do is mm -hmm. gray it like normal, make this Ashbringer awesome, and then uh, put gold as everywhere we can. That's Whoa. it. Should be, should be super easy. Barely. An inconvenience. Whoa. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so we're going to do our standard gray. Now, I left this part kind of white because this is actually like a glowing like an orb or something. yellow center. Yeah. Because okay. the, I guess the story behind the Ashbringer is that when the undead first came to Azeroth, it's just like uh, Game of Thrones where the undead can be killed by the shards of glass or whatever mm. that come from them. Yeah, yeah. So they found a shard that came from an undead. Ah. And um, Bronzebeer's brother made a sword out of it, and they call it the Ashbringer because it will turn undead into ash. Ashbringer. Cool. So, yeah. It's a, it's a very famous sword in the World of Warcraft, almost as famous as Frostmourne. Hmm. I see. My stuff, but we'll figure that out soon enough. Mm. Okay, cool. So he's all grayed now. So he's going to get silver, and then we're going to put gold on top of the silver. Mm. So we're just going to color this thing. There's the, mm -hmm. we might lighten that up later. All right, let's uh, put some flesh on his face. When the plague came to Azeroth, mm. um, he basically was, got the Ashbringer sword and his son <laughs> killed him with it. Oh no. And then the Ashbringer became the corrupted Ashbringer and the, and the, so there's a whole storyline mm -hmm. if he had to redeem his son to get the sword back and that kind of thing. It's pretty funny. Whoa. Okay. Yes and yes. All right. So, all right. He is a paladin of the light, which means that he's has shiny gold armor. So we can go a little bit heavier on the gold than we would normally do. Oh, okay. Because he is a shiny golden paladin of virtue. We still don't want to. We want to make sure that our crevices yeah. stay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right, so that works. Gold head, gold 
Aldrin's Gold Gauntlets. All right, then we're going to make Ashbringer Silver. And then he's going to have blue. Yeah, he's got blue because he's Alliance. Of course he's got blue. Mm -hmm. Cape. Cape me, bro. You're silly. Right, that gold and the blue go very well together. in the reference yeah i'm looking i mean it does appear that his bottom is gray so we can probably just leave that the way it is i think that actually looks pretty cool i might put some gold on these uh oh yeah there is a little bit of a sash here so let's give him a blue sash mm -hmm. all, right. all right silver it is oh, go up and to the right and get in there there you go. Ooh, he does look cool. Maybe simulates glowing, yeah, of some sort. Yeah, I dig it. But also, when you kind of do the scraping motions that I do, it gives it that like metal scrapey feel, sort mm -hmm. of. Right. All right. One last thing, and I think he's done. And that's going to be um, some gold trim on his clothes. So we're just going to give him a little swish, swish. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, there you go. Now we'll clean up these bases. I'm just going to paint the bases black so you don't get to see them. But I think yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Paladin of the Light. Mm -hmm. All right. And yeah, I should have even Varian sword has a what? Has a similar glowy thing in the middle that I didn't this should actually be Oh. Yeah. yeah. So you can see this is actually like a little fireball in the yeah. middle of the sword. Nice. You see that? Yeah. You yeah. put yellow on it, and yellow will make it look. Yeah, like, like the other one. Yeah, but this will really look like fire. The flame coming out of this one. Because when you put more of this contrast, it, it gets red in the middle. Mm-hmm. And then kind of white on the outside. Cool. So you can see there. That's it. The Alliance, we have Varian Rin. Whoa. Mm -hmm. right. Not perfect, but he's perfect. It works out. Oh, yeah, that looks out. cool. All right, this is our call that last looks. Last looks, everybody. We're headed to set on Friday. Uh, we're going to have Gina Proudmore. She came out really good. 
She has a really weird face, but you know, that's mm -hmm. that's the sculptor, not me. Alright, so there's her. This is my favorite. Oh wait, we gotta do more then. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he came out really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so he's um these are all the alliance figures. Okay. Alliance. And then the horde, we have good old thrall. Yeah, the teeth didn't come out so bad, I guess. Oh. Mm -hmm. We got Lady Liadrin. Cool, cool. And we got good old Sylvanas. She came out the best. Yeah. Yeah, her tattered coat is perfect. Yep, her skin came out good. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then finally, uh, Tyrion with Ashbringer. Nice. Oh, yeah, there. look at that cape for this coat. I like it. I like how it comes up around him like that. And they're all here to fight no. the Lich King. Oh, you painted him first. You painted him first, yep. Are you still happy with how he looks? He came out the best. Yeah. It's hard to screw him up, but yeah. Cool, cool. Yep, and that's it. Now, what Whoa. we didn't paint. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We just have three of these abominations. But these will be easy because we just put flesh on them and put some blood in the middle and... Because their guts are like hanging out. So we just have to put guts okay. in there. So that'll be good. And uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of these little and guys. How many of those do you have? Like 40? There's 36 of these. Oh yeah. my gosh. But these will be simple. We're just going to put a. Well, I'll even show you right now what we're going to do. Because it's super. Uh, so you're trying to get the body, not the bandages. Is yeah. That right? So really, it's going to be just putting on the hands, putting on the body, and putting on the ribs. And uh, leaving Come on. some of the other putting on the ribs. <laughs> Thank you. Don't and leave me hanging. Feet, right. And that should be it. I mean, that's. There's no other colors that these guys have really, so they'll just be kind of washed in this. You might want to do a two-tone color on this, and maybe make their hair darker. Than the skin. Oh my gosh, they are so tiny. But that's all you have to do for those guys. Well, it's good for them too. Whoa. You just put it right on top. But you don't want to put it in the middle because the middle is where the guts are going to be. Yeah. But other than that, their whole bodies can just get covered with this. You don't really have to get, you know, super crazy. Now there is a there's another color called plague flesh Ooh. that might look good for these guys too. But really for this, you just want a flesh color. They're fleshy, they're fleshy golems. So they call them abominations. Mm -hmm. They're not meant for human kind. But you can see. It's it's all just one color. It's this one flesh color, and then um, uh, you'll be using the standard gray for it to get silver hooks and silver. Mm -hmm. Ugh, those things are so gross. Um, yeah, that's it. And then we'll put blood in the middle. Ugh. We can show that later, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, when we Yeah, when we go on uh, Friday, yeah, yeah. you can go over your creatures again. Another color called Plague Blair Bearer Flesh. Ew. Yeah, we'll use this for I really use this for zombies, painting zombies, but um, it's a, it's also a good like internal guts color. <laughs> Gross. Ugh. See how that's like guts? Guts. Yuck. And then. Is that what it's called? Blood for the blood, guys. <laughs> is what it's called. Yep. That's so funny. 
Now this stuff, this blood for the blood god is very, um, it's def, it's definitely, you got to be careful with it because it's, it's not as safe as acrylic. Thicker. It's got a thick gooeyness oh. to it. Yeah. Well, be careful. But you, uh, but I guess I'm gonna guess though, in something like this, it's not terrible for it to be. Yeah, you can just kind I mean, of you don't want it to be goopy, but liberally apply it. It ends up making a nice gooey. Yuck! Shiny, gross. Shiny, gross mess. Oh. Huh? So you figure wherever there's blood coming out. And so it'll have this yellow, like, intestine undercoat, but you'll have blood on top. That's all you need for that effect. And then these are bones, so, like, I kind of... You can get blood on the bones, or you can make them bone color, but... Other than that, that's all you need for the abominations. That, as they say... <laughs> Is that wow. so? We're done in two hours and 36 minutes. We painted everything except for <laughs> two other abominations and um, and the 35 other zombie yeah. mini zombies. Oh All right, so you get to get this whole thing done in three hours. Listen probably. to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, you're not gonna sit there and narrate and, and all that That's kind right. of stuff, so right. even faster. So. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining. Hope this was helpful, and we'll see you when we actually play it. Whoa. Have a good night.